stupidity. Generally, the lack of intelligence, understanding, reason, wit, or common sense. Stupidity may be innate, assumed, or reactive, a defense against grief or trauma. Stupidity is generally looked down upon in society, and is perfectly understandable, as it has been the error in lots of people's lives. Adolf Hitler, World War II, took on Russia and Britain at the same time, only reason he lost. The Australian military, 1967, took on a flock of emus in a war and lost. And me, age one, 2006. I was hungry, and there was a poop scooper, dog was urinating, the rest is history. Now, perfectly understandable of those reasons, that would be why stupidity is looked down upon, as most of the time, it's a bad thing and it leads to bad, leads to bad consequences. But, when it doesn't lead to bad consequences, it is beautiful. So, I'm going to assume that everyone here has seen a Funny Moments video. And if you haven't, have you neglected your internet for the past 20 years? But if you have, you would know that almost every single video clip in that video is someone or an animal or something doing something incredibly stupid. Like the dog who peed while doing a handstand. Now, there'd be a lot of people who wish they could go back in time and rewrite some event that they did so they could stop themselves from doing something completely and utterly stupid. One, if Back to the Future has taught me anything, that would create a time paradox and destroy the very fabrics of reality. Two, that would erase from your life one of the most important parts, as if you had never done that stupid thing, you would never have learned from it. If you had never, let's say, fallen over and gotten hurt, you'd never have experienced the tender love and caring of your parents. And this just goes to show that it's quite a beautiful thing. Now, some of you may remember this story. I was in grade five once, like most of you. I was not exactly the most calm person. I would get angry a lot. So one day I got quite particularly angry to the point where I was going to beat a kid up. Uh, but then there was a boy that stopped me and I did a very, very, very stupid thing, and I punched him in the face. Now, I don't know, but I probably broke his nose, which means my parents would have had to pay hospital bills, being young, I didn't know this. But the consequences for me were that, one, my parents were quite harsh, and they locked me in my room fed me and kept my basic necessities, and that was it. I had to stare and read for two weeks. Two, school would not allow me back, so I missed two weeks of the set, two weeks of work, which meant that when I came back to school, I had two weeks to do in the space of about a week, and then get an assignment done for all of my assignments. And three, I learned from it. I learned not to do it again. I learned that beating people up is bad, and I'm, I'm not sure if you know this, but they can arrest you for it. You can get penalized for beating people up. I know it's absolutely ludicrous, but we have to abide by the rules of society. There was another time. I was five, not even, and I was going on my bike very, very fast, downhill, into a pole, onto the floor, whacking a police car. As my mother and dog watched the whole thing, they came, They slowly walked down the hill, laughing their heads off to assist me. But I swear, that dog mocks me to this day. And it's been like, what, 10 years? It's still like this dog. But the police officer gets out of the car, looks at my mother laughing, and then looks at me on the ground, completely incapacitated, rips and bruises all over me, and he wonders in his head, going to arrest this woman for harassment and abuse of a child. But then he realizes that no, I was being stupid. And so then he rides me home in his police car and I learned that you shouldn't 
go down a 45 degree angle on a bike pedaling faster. It's not a good idea. And so, I've learned not to do that. I've learned sufficiently out of fear. I learned how to successfully exit a bike after going too fast and losing control and not get too hurt. And I've been mocked to my parents to this day. How did they call it the epic fail? Yeah. And so, given all of these stories, all these events in history, all these things that have shaped our world, we've known, we find out that stupidity is something that the world would not be similar without. As in the times of old, it was looked down upon, and we keep that mentality. But that was because in the times of old, if you were dumb, you were dead. Simple as that. But as we grow safer, we do more stupid things. We learn from these stupid things, and we continue to get safer. And because of that, the world has bettered from it. So, if you wish you could never have done anything stupid, and you want to go back and change it, and you just want to rid the world of these stupid things that everyone does that gets them embarrassed and makes them just wish they didn't do it, think again, and just let them happen. Let them go by, and let them enter your life, and then exit your life, and just get whatever they need, and then you can kick them out at 21. And so, stupidity as being a bad thing should not be a bad thing. And we should all let it happen and just learn from it and better ourselves because of it.